In this clip, we'll see how to be able to create your curriculum map or your tracker from your Canvas course. Now, there are different options, but I want to be sure that we're going to encourage you to go through the route inside of your Canvas course where you see Mastery Tracker. Now, if you're not seeing this, there's another video that will show you how you may be able to bring this back, but we're assuming that it's there. I'm going to go ahead and click Mastery Tracker, and it tells me that I have no tracker set up yet. So I'm going to come to where I see Link Mastery Tracker, and then I'm looking for the source. Where am I pulling this tracker from? Now, for the purposes of the K2 DIA at our training, we need to cover talking about a curriculum app. And you can see for this teacher's account that I'm currently under, I do not see that option. It is grayed out. And I'll tell you why that is. It's because we have not yet created our account or set up our account or profile inside of Mastery Connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. And we're gonna see, we're gonna come to the global navigation. You can see over here, they have the Mastery Splash. It's over here in the blue bar. I'm gonna click on that. And what this is doing is this is redirecting me to Mastery Connect. Now from here, I'm gonna to wanna to go to where I see my profile from the far right side, click on my profile. And what I wanna make sure is that it actually reflects my current grade level. So I can see where it says edit profile. And so what we really wanna do is we wanna make sure that the grade level is proper. Now, if you have issues with your site being different or any of those things, please let us know and we can do our best to amend those. But what we're really focusing on is the grade level. And so by selecting my grade level, and this teacher is the second grade level, I'm gonna scroll on down. And the information that is required of me is to be able to enter a password and I must check these two boxes and click save changes. So again, there are a lot of other things you could do from the profile. You could update your picture, photo, but what we really need to do is to understand for Mastery Connect to know, hey, something is being pushed out to all second grade teachers. And unless I've selected my appropriate grade level, Mastery Connect will not receive whatever is being pushed out because as, a, as far as it knows, I don't have a grade. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes, and then we'll show you the next step from where we were earlier inside of our Canvas course. Canvas course, we're going to locate again from our course navigation, Mastery Tracker. So I've found that, go and click on it. And that same process we had tried earlier unsuccessfully should now go through. And that's because, again, we've associated our Mastery Connect account with the proper grade level. So I'm going to go ahead and click Link Mastery Tracker, select my source. So while we could create a tracker from a standard set, for K2 purposes, we are using the curriculum app. And that allows us to be able to kind of create things for you and push things out to teachers of those appropriate grade levels. Now it says available maps here. I'm finding the one that is shared with me. In this case, this is a grade two teacher, and now I see the option, grade two DIA HLP USD. There's the title. Notice it says subject, and I wanna be very clear with this one, is the fact that Mastery Tracker is only gonna limit you to include one subject. We have placed all of the mathematics as well as language arts standards, so don't be concerned because you're only seeing language arts there. Note that it is gonna in include other subjects as well. So I'm going to click link, give it some time for it to actually load, and I should be able to see all of my students here inside of this tracker. And there we go, it's loaded with my students and all of my standards, and I can scroll across to ensure that they're all there. Now, you do see this button that says add assessment, but because the benchmarks, or in this case the district interims we pushed out for grades K2, you should be able to see the benchmark when it pops up as the window opens. Let us know if you have any questions. We're more than happy to help.